Hi, thank you for giving us a few minutes of your time. In this video, we're going to share with you how to maximize your investment returns, how to earn return on the same money in two different places at the same time. In this particular case study, we'll take a look at a real estate, real estate investment opportunity. We will show you two ways to acquire a rental property and we'll keep it as simple as possible for the sake of easy comparison. Let's consider a single investment property with the following assumptions. One property with no tax deductions, no refinancing, not using equity or build up a real estate portfolio. So this is a $100,000 house and we'll hold it for 30 years. We assume that the appreciation will be 3% per year, which is a very, very, which is very, very conservative. And with that rate, after 30 years, the house will be worth 242726 The monthly rental income after all expenses is $1,000 a month. Therefore, over 30 years, the total income is $360,000. So we'll explore two options. Option one is the traditional way to buy real estate, in which cash is used to buy the property. In option two, we will leverage a unique financial vehicle we call the Prosperity Vault to acquire the property. If you've been following this channel, you know what the Prosperity Vault is. But if not, no worries. We will share with you what that is in a few minutes. So let's jump right in with option one. In this picture here, as you can see, there are three buckets. On the left, we will call it the lifetime capital potential where your income flows in. Towards the bottom, you see the tax filter. Yes, we're gonna pay some taxes. And the remaining of the income will be used for either lifestyle or saved in a savings account or to invest. So with option one, let's say we're putting 45,000 per year into the savings account and we're gonna do that for seven years. The total would be 315,000. Now in year three, we're gonna use $100,000 from that savings account to buy the rental property. You can see the yellow portion in the investment bucket right there. The remaining balance in our savings account is 215,000. Now we bought the house and it starts to generate passive cash flow, $1,000 a month. That 1,000 is going back into our savings account month after month. Therefore, our savings account continues to grow as time goes by. And so here are the numbers after 30 years. First, the property value will be $242,726. So remember, after the house was acquired in year three, the remaining balance in the savings account was 215,000. That plus the 360,000 received in rental income equals 575,000. Now, assuming that this savings account earns 1% interest, which is very, very generous, because right now the average savings account interest is probably about 0.05% at most. And let's say that we are in a 33% tax bracket. Then the net rate would be 0.67%. So the 575,000 over 30 years would become 661,435. Therefore, the total amount generated is $904,161. Well, option one is pretty good, right? Now let's explore option two. We will add the prosperity vault into the equation. What comes to mind when you think about a vault? You're probably thinking about the vault of a bank where the money is stored safely, right? You might also be thinking of words such as privacy or protection. Yes, the prosperity vault is a safe place to store capital and it will protect your capital from these four major wealth eroders. Inflation, excess taxes, market volatility, and creditors or predators. The great thing about the Prosperity Vault is that you are in complete control on this account. It is liquid and it is growing without interruption at a guaranteed rate. Also, it can be leveraged, meaning your capital can work in more than one place at the same time, as we'll demonstrate that to you in the next few slides. So what is then the Prosperity Vault? The Prosperity Vault is a non-traditional, flexible, specially designed high cash value whole life insurance policy with a mutual life insurance company that pays dividends. Yes, it has to have all those characteristics. It is a mouthful, isn't it? That's why at Infinite Joy Financial, we refer to this powerful and efficient financial vehicle as the Prosperity Vault. You may ask yourself, who else knows about this financial vehicle? The short answer is all the banks, big corporations, government officials, successful business owners, entrepreneurs, and investors such as Ray Kroc, Robert Kiyosaki, and more. In fact, banks are the biggest purchasers of whole life insurance in the amount of billions of dollars, hence the term bully, bank-owned life insurance. 
For banks, they consider whole life insurances as their first, as their tier one capital reserve. Yes, whole life insurance, not universal life. So let's get back to our option two, leveraging the prosperity vault. Everything stays the same. However, in this case, we will save the $45,000 a year in the prosperity vault instead. After seven years, the total is the same, 315,000. Now, because it's a life insurance product, it comes with a death benefit as well, which is a great bonus. Here is a real life example of a specially designed high cash value whole life policy. The same amount of $45,000 is saved in this vehicle for the first seven years. As you can see, after year seven, we would have put in $315,000. Now the cash value is about $336,000, which is awesome. We bought our house in year three, right? So in year three, the net cash value is about $129,000. That's when we use that cash value as collateral and borrow against it to access $100,000 from the general fund of the life insurance company via a policy loan. We use that fund to acquire the property. Now it's important to understand that we are not withdrawing $100,000 from that $129,000 in the net cash, net cash value. On the contrary, by borrowing against it, the net cash value stays the same, acts as a lien for that policy loan. Therefore, the compounding growth within the prosperity vault is not interrupted. So here we see the fourth bucket, which represents the borrowed funds from the life insurance company. The great benefit of a life insurance policy loan is that it is an unstructured loan. What that means is the policyholder truly has control and flexibility. He or she can determine when, how much, and how often to pay the loan back. Of course, we can also help our clients to explore the cash value line of credit option as well. So whatever option fits best for our clients, goal and circumstance, we will choose that option. So same thing, we use that $100,000 to purchase the house in year three, and it starts generating passive income $1,000 a month. Now let's say if we had borrowed that $100,000 from a local bank with an interest rate of 5%, amortized over 30 years, the monthly income, the monthly payment would be $536.82. So what we do in this case is we'll use that amount to pay back the policy loan. As we use $536.82 to pay back the policy loan, the loan balance will decrease year after year. Now our monthly rental income is $1,000, right? Therefore, after we pay the policy loan, we still have $463.18 per month. We will use that amount to add into our whole life insurance policy. By adding more premium into our policy, it continues to grow steadily year after year, earning dividends and interest in uninterruptedly. So let's fast forward to 30 years later. The policy loan is paid off. The cash value of the prosperity vault is growing tremendously. The house's value is appreciating. Let's take a look at the numbers at year 33. The value of the house would be $242,726. Now what about the cash value within the prosperity vault? Well, let's take a look at the same illustration. At year 33, the net cash value is $1,250,621. Unbelievable, right? That amount plus the $242,726 as the value of the house makes the total amount generated by using option two $1,493,347. So here is the comparison side by side. The left side is option one, using cash. The right side is option two, leveraging the prosperity vault. So the left side, using cash to purchase the property directly, the amount in the savings account is 661,435. Adding the property value of 242,726 makes the total amount generated of $904,161. Now for option two, the cash value in the prosperity vault after 33 years is $1,250,621 for a total amount generated of $1,493,347. That is huge. If we subtract 315,000, which is the original amount of money that we put in in the first seven years from the total of option one and do the same for option two, the profit for option one is $589,000 $151. Whereas the option two 
With option two, the profit is $1,178,347. So as we can see, leveraging the Prosperity Vault increases the profit by 200%. The biggest difference is that when we save our money in the Prosperity Vault, we have the ability in year three to leverage it and use the life insurance company funds to buy the property through the policy loan provision. By doing that, the account value within the Prosperity Vault never diminished in year three and its compounding effect was never interrupted. Yes, uninterrupted compounding interest is very powerful, as Albert Einstein calls it the eighth wonder of the world. In summary, by using the Prosperity Vault, you maximize the efficiency of your capital. Therefore, your investment return is optimized. At the same time, your capital is more protected from these four wealth eroders, inflation, excess taxes, market volatility, and creditors' predators. On top of that, the death benefit is a huge bonus because it protects your human life value and your income potential, and it can be passed down tax-free to the next generation. Another huge benefit is that there is something called the Accelerated Benefit Rider that comes at no cost with the policy. What that means is in, if in case you get sick with a chronic terminal illness or critical illness such as stroke, heart attack, myocarditis, renal failure, organ transplant, or life-threatening cancer, you can access a significant portion of the death benefit to take care of that illness. So yes, as you can see, Using the Prosperity Vault gives you so many amazing benefits. Again, thank you so much for your time. We know that this was a lot of information and numbers in a short video, but we hope that you see the vision and are excited about the potential of maximizing your investment returns using the Prosperity Vault. Besides real estate, there are a lot of practical applications of the Prosperity Vaults that can help families, business owners, and entrepreneurs maximize the efficiency of their capital. If you have any questions or comments, please get back to the person who shared this video with you or leave a comment below. Of course, if you'd like to explore this topic deeper or just want to have a quick clarity call or a Zoom meeting with one of the Prosperity Architects, please feel free to use the link in the description box below to set up an appointment. Again, thank you so much for your time and have a bold and prosperous day. God bless.